In the previous two tutorials, we've looked at XFX Grid Slideshow, uh, run through the effects, and also how to build a demo quick timeline with two slides on there. Now I'm going to show you a bit more detail and a couple of advanced techniques. And the first one is the wipes, uh, all the reveals of the boxes and how to alter those. If you look at the one we have here with the Arc de Triomphe, um, it's fairly straightforward. 16 boxes come in and they come in from the top left. But if we look in the inspector, we can actually see we've got a few more controls. We can actually start the build from anywhere on the frame. So we can actually say, let's start lower right instead. And that will go from the bottom right to the top left. Or we can actually say, um, we don't want rows, we want columns. And that will do exactly the same thing, but building columns. We can get a bit funky than that as well. We can also shuffle the order. Um, so if we select this box here, then the boxes will come on in a random order. And if you don't like that order, if you just keep hitting this button here, you can select through different patterns uh, till you find one that you like. So you might want to have just one box left out or one box come on first. Uh, just keep going through and you'll find one that you like. Also, just one more thing to show you. If I go back and take the shuffle order off, you can see that when the image builds, there's only really two boxes that are appearing at once. And that's the build spread, but I can increase that. So if I pump that up to a high number now, you can see we've got quite a few boxes coming on at the, on at the same time. Or I can just bring it down to one and it'll do one box followed by the other box. So really up to you where you want it. By default it's set onto two, which I think gives a nice effect. I've reset the sixteenths and if we just play, you can see we're coming in from the top left again. Now you would think that the black is actually transparent, but it's not because if you look at the inspector, we've got a choice of colors up here. So it's not transparent, that's black. Just to prove it, I can go to another color like yellow. Now, if I want that to actually go over an image, I have to make a mat. So let's just put it back to black for the moment. And we'll drag this other composite we have underneath. Now on black, you'd expect it to come straight in, but it doesn't, it cuts to, cuts to black. So I have to make a mat. So that's no problem. First thing to do is to make the wipe on white. Then do a bit of rearranging because I want to make another compound clip, but I want the 16th to stay outside of that. So that's now white, make another compound clip. Open that up. Now I'm going to change that compositing mode in the inspector to Silhouette Alpha. And now, although it looks it gives the same effect, it's actually going transparent. So now if I play, play that, I need that to run for a bit longer underneath there. We have the grid coming in over the top of the other image. And you can do that at either end as well. I quite like it to reveal graphics as we did in the, in the promo. So there's two advanced techniques for building slideshows with XFX Grid Slideshow. Hope you've enjoyed them and we'll see you on the next plugin.